Hello, everyone, and thank you for being here with us tonight as we celebrate the graduating class of 2020. When the school year started, no one could have imagined that our graduates would end their year without a traditional ceremony. But tonight, we will honor Ocean Discovery students graduating from the eighth, from the high school, from college, and from graduate school. Again, thank you so much for joining us this evening. From scientists who worked one-on-one -on -one with our students, to volunteers who have committed hundreds of hours of community service, to supporters who have invested in our young people. And especially, we wanted to thank the parents and families who supported our students every day along their journey. I am Rudy Vargas, and I will be your MC for this evening. Like many of you know, I was an ocean leader. I am now an Ocean Discovery board member, and my day job is to be the district director for US Senator Kamala Harris. Like the students you will learn about this evening, I benefited from Ocean Discovery. In high school, I was part of the programs and went to be the first in my family to graduate from San Diego State University. I know there's some photos on the screen of me here from high school and from San Diego State and in Washington, DC. I know that there's some uh, future and uh, past aspects, so big shout out. As we get started, I'd like to let everyone know that tonight's ceremony will be recorded. We wanna make sure that the recording is available to our Ocean Discovery community who was not able to join us today. Due to the limitations of the virtual platform, we don't have live translation, but there will be subtitles um, for our Spanish speaking guests. Today's ceremony will include a few words from our executive director, followed by a series of speakers addressing our graduates. We will end by sharing special gifts that our graduating students have received, and we will share opportunities on how you can stay involved. If you're on a laptop or a desktop computer, we recommend that you switch your screen to speaker view. This is the best way to view the ceremony. You can do this by locating the icon on the top right corner, as seen here. So I hope that you're all able to find that. This is what speaker view looks like. I want to make sure to note that we've set everybody's mute, uh, audio to mute uh, so that we can prevent any background noise. You can use the chat box to share sentiments of congratulations to our graduates. The chat feature is found right here. I know that it even has like an emoji clap, so you guys can feel free to use that throughout the entire uh, ceremony. Lastly, if, you're hap if your internet happens to cut off or you lose access to your Zoom meeting, um, for any reason, you can simply rejoin by clicking the same Zoom link that you used to enter the room today. Okay, now that we're done with the housekeeping, it's my pleasure to introduce Ocean Discovery's Executive Director and Founder, Sheriff Fisler. Thank you, Rudy. I am so proud to be here with you today, our committed and impressive graduates. This milestone in your educational journey is a reason for all of us to celebrate because you are the leaders our country needs. And of course, Ocean Discovery's mission is all about using the ocean uh, behind me um, so that young people can transform their lives, their community, and our world as science and conservation leaders. And your achievements today showcase that this is exactly what you're doing. You've been scientists participating in a year-long sea lion research study, conducting investigations in Baja, California to protect sea turtles, working in labs at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and presenting at scientific conferences. You've been embracing mentoring, developing strong relationships, partnering with mentors to craft applications, and being mentors to students with less experience. You've developed the tools for success, touring universities, using your ocean discovery network to support your career ambitions, and facing significant challenges with the belief that they can be overcome. Each of you are a member of our most intensive program, our ocean leaders. By becoming an ocean leader, you have committed to participating in robust, ongoing, out of school programming. For many of you, your pathway began in middle school and is continuing on into career as you have or will become a mentor to others. You are among a group of students who have achieved unprecedented results. 
Our ocean leaders are six times more likely to graduate college than their peers. 29% have entered careers in STEM, where only 1% of their peers nationwide achieved the same success. These achievements led to my great honor of representing you in the White House when we received the 2010 Presidential Award for Excellence in Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Mentoring. And a lot has happened since 2010. Our graduates are now working on the cure for cancer, protecting local habitats as environmental consultants, developing <laughs> cybersecurity solutions, and advocating for environmental justice. And now more than ever, we need people like you who are committed to making a positive difference in our world. And you're well on your way. Students like Zyra is now a certified uh, drone pilot working to bring that technology to health communities. Kim is using her business and environmental passion at her work at Sempra. Adrian is enriching the lives of autistic children and each and every one of you. We are all inspired by all that you have accomplished. I know that not everyone in today's celebration may be as familiar with our organization as uh, every single one of you. So Shara, thank you so much for sharing a little bit more about our amazing work. Next, I'd like to please welcome Yolanda Chilapa, an active member of our Family Advisory Committee. The Family Advisory Committee is an amazing group of parent volunteers at Ocean Discovery. Yolanda is also the mother of one of our graduates tonight, Osiris Chino Chilapa. She is here today with special words of congratulations to the class of 2020. Hola, buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Yolanda Chilapa. Yo soy mamá de la comunidad y voluntaria de aquí de Ocean Discovery. Y pues hoy me quiero dirigir a todos ustedes jóvenes que se están graduando, que están pasando a una nueva etapa de su vida. Primeramente, quiero felicitarlos por este gran logro que han alcanzado. Valió la, la pena tanto trabajo, esfuerzo, dedicación y desvelos. Hoy empieza un nuevo camino un nuevo rumbo. Hoy abres tus alas a nuevas oportunidades. Será maravilloso conocer nuevas amistades, personas en las que podrás confiar, que te podrán ayudar y apoyar a alcanzar tus metas. Debo decirte que en este nuevo camino vendrán retos, desafíos, problemas, tropiezos, subidas y bajadas. No será fácil enfrentar todo esto, pero tú eres inteligente, decidido y fuerte para vencer todo obstáculo que se te presente. Tú llegarás hasta donde tú escojas llegar, porque tú eres el único que decide a dónde quieres ir. Si llegas a caer, no tengas miedo. Sé fuerte y valiente. Dios estará contigo. Levántate con la frente en alto, con más fuerza y determinación. Recuerda que tú eres único, que tú eres especial. Eres el orgullo de tu familia, de tus amigos y de tu comunidad. Todos ellos esperan ver lo mejor que hay en ti. Porque tú eres un triunfador. Tú eres exitoso. Tú puedes alcanzar tus sueños y puedes mover montañas. Yo creo que con la ayuda de Dios, todo es posible si lo puedes creer. Gracias. Y muchas gracias a usted, señora Chilapa. Yo sé que nuestros, uh, los demás padres que están aquí con nosotros hoy también comparten ese mismo sentimiento con nuestros estudiantes. Uh, Señora Chilapa just shared some of the same sentiments I know that many of the parents share for our students. So thank you again. Okay, we've made it to the part 
of the program where we recognize our graduates. First up, let's recognize the eighth grade ocean leaders moving from middle school to high school. We're gonna recap your journey as an ocean leader. And then you're gonna get a special message from Stephanie Nee Hazel, your principal scientist of the research project you are participating in this year. Take a look. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small Turn to a friendship, a friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first and the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I went through, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last time. Don't let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take will always lead you. to the graduating eighth grade class of 2020. Let me first say congratulations on this huge accomplishment. I bet many of you are feeling excited and maybe a little nervous about this next step in your lives, high school. But you should also be feeling very proud because your families, friends, teachers, and mentors, myself included, are very proud of you and all that you have achieved to get here. All of you, Brianna, Alejandro, Jenny, Dominic, Osides, Erasto, Maggie, and Ruth, have worked so hard. You've persevered and you've dedicated hours, both in and out of school, to get to this point, including those long after school hours where you got up close and personal with some smelly fish. So take some time to celebrate this special moment. But also, take this time to reflect on everything you've done the past few years, the friends you've made, the teachers and mentors who inspired you, and know that you have set yourself up for a wonderful road ahead. Let me be briefly talk about that road ahead called high school and what it might be like. Things are going to change over the next few years. You'll have new teachers, new friends, new expectations, and a whole new environment, but that's okay. You have an amazing community to support you, and it's important that you continue to rely on each other and look out for one another as peers and as friends. So now is the time to make new friends, but keep the old. Take new opportunities, but be true to who you are. And as you push yourself to succeed, remember to leave time to relax and have fun. High school is a busy time, and school will get tougher, but so do you. You will amaze yourself by what you can accomplish over these next few years. Hard work really does pay off. So in closing, keep in mind that when you put your mind and heart into something, you are basically unstoppable. And remember to be kind to one another as you are all in this together. Also remember that if you ever want to count some sea lions or measure some fish, I'll be here. I wish you all the best on this next step in your academic career, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. I feel hopeful that you are re representing the next generation of environmental stewards who are going to make positive impacts on the world. Congratulations again to you all. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I know that I share that same sentiment that Ocean Discovery will be here, eighth graders, on your next step uh, when you're in high school. So best of luck. Before we move on, I wanna make sure that we pay distinct recognition to our college access mentors and our college application editors. Since last year, of, since August of last year, this exceptional group has been directing our 12th graders in their pursuit of a higher education. These volunteers have spent a cumulative of over 450 hours guiding our students' next steps, and we're grateful for the impact they've had on our students' lives. For all of you mentors joining us tonight, we wanted to recognize your contribution, so you're going to be receiving this gift which we hope that you can use in your future mentoring meetings. Thanks again. Now, it's time to celebrate you, 12th grade ocean leaders. You've all made a big life decision, and that's to continue your studies into higher education. 
Each one of you will be attending a college in the fall, and we're so honored to share today all the colleges that those students have chosen. You're gonna see a quick slide right now with all the, with the different colleges. Then we'll have the privilege of hearing from our very own Ocean Leader alum and one of my best buddies, Jared Ocampo. He has a special message for you senior graduates. Think about now, can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like the women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will this memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. Hello class of 2020, I'm Jared Ocampo and I just want to say congratulations on this huge achievement. This is a great milestone that to many maybe around the world is something normal, you know, um, but coming from City Heights, just know that this is such a great um, achievement and it means so much. Um, I'm really happy to see all of you guys graduate. I've seen you guys in many different aspects of your lives and different points of your lives and it brings me so much joy to see you guys take that next step that it's life after high school, whether that may be college, career, wherever you guys are going to end up. And I just want to share a couple of things with you guys. I want to encourage you, all of you, that no matter what you do, don't be afraid to take risks. Um, go explore as much as you can and meet new people be nice to other people and remember that you have a whole team cheering you on back home um i'm here for all of you guys and i really mean that uh, so congratulations on this great feat you know you guys have a friend a mentor here with me and i hope that you guys are successful in whatever you guys put your minds to so again congratulations class of 2020 Yes, congratulations seniors. And like Jared said, we're gonna be here on your next phase of your education. Our next class. This year, we had a number of college graduates who made the tremendous step in their career by gaining a college degree. College grads, you are defying the odds and blazing a trail for the next generation. To offer you a special message is the famous Dr. Drew Talley, who has developed a personal relationship with each and every single one of you through the years and he has a very special message to share. But first, let's meet our Ocean Leader graduates of 2020. There is a place on the mountain nearby, deep in a cave, but it's a darkness are safely concealed all of the dreams that you never reveal and if you go there and after you do all of these dreams would be yours to pursue Something. 
would be yours to pursue the rest of your lifetime devoid of a care if you keep your eyes open you may find yourself there if you keep your heart open Was a quick second, everybody. We're just trying to figure out our next slide. Thanks for your patience, everyone. Uh, this next message is from Dr. Drew Talley, and it's a very special one. So uh, give us a quick second while we figure out uh, what's going on. It's, uh, this is the first time we've actually done anything like this, a celebration that's been um, all digital, all on Zoom. Um, so this is the new reality that we all face, but um, I think this is pretty cool. I think this is super exciting. Um, I think we're all just trying to figure out what's next. Uh, so um, I'm just gonna, I, I was actually looking through the, the participants right now. I see um, uh, I see that we have the principal of Hoover High School, Jason Babineau, a hey, shout out. Um, we, have, we have quite a few participants. I'm probably not gonna, probably not gonna be able to shout out everybody, but <clears throat> one of the really cool things that I do see is that actually I see a lot of families. I, I love seeing that. For example, uh, we have Melanie Montes and your family's all there together. I, th I think that's pretty awesome. I also see uh, my little Joaquin, my little godson with, with Marlum and, 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 and Adeline. Um, I, I, I saw Dr. Jim Gates and he's got, a, he's got I think he, he's trying to enter the competition to the coolest background. I think that's a Starship Enterprise. Um, let's see, uh, or maybe another awesome, uh, ship. Um, I see we ha I have my favorite firefighter, uh, my favorite hero, Thad with Lindsay over there. Uh, I'm just going to keep scrolling on here because I think this is awesome. I see Jesse, who just finished up an internship with our office too. Congratulations, Jesse. It's nonstop for you, man. I think we're about ready to, to hear from Dr. Dutali, which I'm really excited for. Um, Feel like all these messages um, are pretty much they're, they're talking to me too so uh, I think I think we're ready to go so let me start by ruining the end of my commencement speech I'm not going to be inspiring today but maybe the reason that I'm not going to be inspiring will make this in some way helpful so these are incredibly fraught times we're in there's political and economic unrest, environmental and social justice issues, coronavirus, and don't get me started on murder hornets. So it's easy to be discouraged and overwhelmed. And yet, rather than feeling discouraged and pessimistic about the future, I'm actually hopeful. And the reason why is simple. It's you. And I don't mean some generalized, ah, the youth of today kind of you, but literally you. Marlem, Ezra, Kim, Tamak, you who I've spent time with, from measuring cactus on islands in Bahia, to walking through remote wetlands, to watching you become mentors yourselves for younger ocean leaders. You convince me that we can tackle these problems. And it's not just me my family, my colleagues, your families, your communities. We aren't just proud of you, we're inspired by you. I'm not here to run through the usual commencement speech tropes. I'm not here to tell you that you'll experience both great challenges and great joys, although you will. And I'm not here to say that you need to embrace failure or be kind or follow your passion although of course you should. And the last thing you need is for me to tell you to change the world, because clearly you've already started. What I do want is for you to understand that when I feel discouraged, I get my inspiration by looking at you and your accomplishments. And while you may not see it, there are so many of us in your families and communities who do the same thing. So the reason I can't give one of those, here is my wisdom to share with you speeches, 
is because you've already shown that you have the drive, the creativity, and the passion. You don't need me to tell you that stuff. All of those problems facing the world that I mentioned at the start? Yeah, you got this. And those murder hornets had better watch out. Awesome. Wasn't that worth the wait? <laughs> Thank you so much, Drew. You're one of my favorite people in the world, and you've been rooting for our entire Ocean Discovery family since the very beginning, including me. So thanks again. Congratulations again to our college graduates. We're so excited to see what's in store for you now that you've equipped yourself with a college degree. The final group that, we, uh, that I would like to pay special recognition to is our master's graduates. You guys decided to go beyond your first college degree to pursue graduate studies. It's a sad reality that many of our peers struggle to even get to college, but you've taken this challenge and you've surpassed it by gaining your master's degree. Let's look back at your education leading up to this incredible point to address our graduate school graduates, you will hear from Ocean Leader alum and board member, Claudia Rodriguez, who like them just completed her college degree, college graduate degree. Bonito, todo me parece bonito. Bonita mañana, bonito lugar, bonita la cama, que bien se ve el mar, bonito es el día que acaba de empezar, bonita la vida. Respira, 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 mi teléfono suena, mi pana se queja, la cosa va mal, la vida le pesa, que vivir así ya no le interesa, que seguir así no vale la pena. Perdió el amor, se acabó la fiesta, ya no anda el moto que empuja la tierra. La vida es un chiste con triste final, el futuro no existe, pero yo le digo bonito. Todo me parece bonito. Bonito. Todo me parece bonito. Bonita la paz. Bonita la vida, bonito volver a nacer cada día, bonita la verdad, no suena mentira, bonita la amistad. Adrian and Jesse, you did it. Congratulations and welcome to the Ocean Leader Masters Club. Today we celebrate a milestone. In your Ocean Leader journey, as young seeds become tall trees. And what beautiful trees you have become. I am incredibly proud of all of your growth. From curious teens to researchers, college students, college graduates, and now master degree holders. During your master's program, you probably realized this was going to be a difficult task and likely had some challenges along the way. However, I know that you learned to be even more resourceful and resilient than you thought you could be. Now, you can share with others that a graduate degree is challenging, yes, but also attainable. Better yet, you can now lead them in that direction. I like to think that when City Heights youth go to college, their families go too. So I also want to congratulate your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, neighbors, godparents, and everybody else who formed part of your cheering squad during grad school. I know that even though they may not have been physically present at all times, knowing that you had their support made a significant difference in your success. Now what's next for Adrian and Jesse? As you know, you are graduating in a time of uncertainty. You probably hear that we are in uncharted territory, but the uncertain and the unknown also bring endless possibilities. So use that to your advantage. One of the possibilities that might be in your near future is actually more schooling. I know that you just finished a program and you're probably tired, you want a break. However, I do hear that the PhD club is looking for more members. So let's talk about that in the near future. As you move into your new normal, I wanna remind you that you are incredibly resourceful and resilient. But don't forget the self-care because when we are at our best, we give our best. Lean into the discomfort, feel the fear and do it anyways. This applies to networking, so don't forget 
to use your new and your existing support systems to identify that next career move or learning opportunity. And finally, I hope that you continue mentoring others so that as you achieve more milestones in the near future, you are also able to open doors for those that are gonna follow your footsteps. Finally, Adrian, Jesse, enjoy, relax. You've earned it. You are now a master degree holder. Congratulations to you and to your family. Thank you so much, Claudia. I know you said this to Jesse and to Adrian, but I actually follow in your footsteps too, Claudia. So thank you so much. Um, congratulations again to our master's graduates. I know how hard both of you have been working these last couple of years. So we're super proud of you. Uh, you show us what ocean leaders can achieve. So thanks again and congratulations. I'm thrilled to present our graduate speaker for this evening. She's an exceptional graduate who despite the roadblock she ran into, she committed herself to her education and can today say that she's among the first generation of her family to, uh, to gain a college degree. I wanna take a moment. Please welcome Michael Madre, Marlene Ocampo. Hey, class of 2020, I'm Marlem, um, and I just wanted to say congratulations. We did it. Um, I am so proud of us. I am so proud of our great achievement. Um, you know, I know that for all of you, all of your journeys have been a um, little bit different, but very, very special, I'm sure. It took a lot of dedication, a lot of perseverance, a lot of, you know, determination to get where we are today. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my own difficulties, accomplishments, and some advice for you for the future. Um, I just graduated from San Diego State University and I'm so happy. It's been a very long journey for me, um, 10 years to be exact. <laughs> and that's because I had to take the community college route, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, it did take me five years to get out of community college to transfer over to a four-year university. Um, and that came with a lot of struggles. Um, one of them being I actually got pregnant right when I was going to transfer and um, I gave birth to my my son Joaquin and I started San Diego State University with a baby um, and it has not been easy and it came with again we came with a lot of struggles but I made it with the help of a lot of people that love me and surrounded and you know that care about my future and the future of my family um, and um, at the end of the day, I got my degree. I'm so happy, something that I can share with my family. You know, I know that family for us is very important. At least it is for me and um, my parents. I wouldn't have been able to do, you know, or be, be the person that I am today because of them. Um, huge shout out to Ocean Discovery Institute for always providing the resources that we needed, always being there, you know, one call away, you know, they're ready to help us. Um, now, I did gain a career at Illumina, which is one of the biggest biotech companies, and it's just amazing to be able to work there now full time and give it my all, show them what I've got. Um, so I'm just very excited for the future. I don't know like what's next, but I am so excited. Um, and some advice for you guys really quickly. I just wanted to let you know that it's so important, no matter if you're graduating high school, college, it's so important to surround yourself with people that love you and care about you and care about your academic uh, success. Um, whether that's teachers, you know, family, whoever it is, always make sure to surround yourself with those people. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Look for what all of what all of the resources that are out there. Um, and always remember that you belong where you are. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. Um, that's some quick advice. I love you guys. So proud of you. Um, bye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marlon. You know, I know firsthand um, how hard you've been working these last few years. And I thank you for sharing your remarkable story with everybody. You're an inspiration to us all. And you're such a strong role model to our younger ocean leaders. They can definitely look up to you. Now, we've made it to the part of our program where we get to hear from our keynote speaker of the night, Catalina Martinez. Catalina is a NOAA scientist who first came to Ocean Discovery as a living lab scientist in residence in 2019. 
I actually had the chance to meet her when she was in San Diego. We got to visit Chicano Park. It was amazing. It was awesome. Since then, she's been an incredible partner and an advocate for our students. And we're so fortunate to have us here today to deliver our keynote speech. Coming in from the East Coast, help me in welcoming Catalina Martinez. <laughs> Hi everyone in the ODI family and class of 2020. Before I get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to our MC extraordinaire, Rudy. You did a great job, amazing, seriously. Even with the technical glitches, you kept it so smooth. You, you are uh, really a special, special guy, Rudy. So I just wanna say, I am deeply moved and honored to be speaking with you all today. And I want you to know that although I can't see all of you, I do feel you. And for all those experiencing loss and sickness due to this terrible virus, please know that my heart goes out to you. I personally remain rooted in gratitude for the health and safety of all those in my immediate orbit. We are all living through one of the largest global traumatic disruptions in history. And when all is said and done, those of us who remain have to decide how to move forward, how to contribute to a new world, possibly living our lives in new ways with new challenges, but also hopefully finding and creating new opportunities. Life is moving us in all kinds of directions we couldn't have planned for. So we have to be open to brand new paths, brand new truths, and brand new journeys. A very wise young woman I met a few years ago who had been homeless since she was very young said to me, Catalina, it's not what's on you, it's what's in you. And I've lived by this mantra every day since. Her strength, her courage, her determination and resilience came not only from what she had been through, but how she responded to it, right? Learning to overcome significant adversity to find success in any form will serve your generation well, as it provides for a very special perspective that will help you build up that treasure trove of superpowers, just like that young woman. Now, those of you graduating from the eighth grade, from high school, and with your bachelor degrees and graduate degrees, oh my goodness, you've worked so hard to get to where you are right now. And I'm sure that many of you have already started to develop those resiliency superpowers, and we are so incredibly proud of you. But keep in mind, you did not get here to this place all by yourselves. You are surrounded by an amazing community of people, friends and family and advisors and teachers and your ODI peeps who helped you arrive at this incredible place in your lives. And as far as I'm concerned, your community is your greatest superpower. There is nothing you can't handle and nothing you can't achieve so long as you always remember to collect your people. Now, I consider myself to be a professional people collector. And all of you out there in the ODI family, I have collected you and you are part of my tribe. Now, I am deeply honored to be with you all today celebrating this chapter in your lives as you carve your path forward, even at this strange and challenging time, I, like many of you, am a first generation born in this country, first generation professional and a high school dropout. And there is no way that I would be here speaking with you all tonight if I didn't learn to turn community into family. So with all that said, what I would really like to leave you with today is a sense of your infinite potential. Dream big and strive for greatness while always rooting yourself in kindness. Be determined to get the education of your choosing and be open to new opportunities you may not have considered before. Be prepared to work hard and never limit your vision of who you can become or where you belong based on how other people perceive you champion and mentor others as you continue to grow and collect your people. In whatever the new world becomes, find new territory, break new ground, speak up, show up, stand up, participate in your communities, and if you're old enough, make sure to vote. 
Remember that there are no guarantees in life, but with so much uncertainty in front of us, it is all up for grabs. You are our future leaders and you give me so much hope. Dive into your superpowers and always remember, it's not what's on you, it's what's in you and I believe in you. Thank you all so very much for giving me this honor tonight. I'm so proud of you all. Yay, congrats, Matt. Thank you so much, Catalina. Um, I know that I'm not graduating myself, but I've mentioned this to you before, but I feel like you're speaking to me too. So I'm honored to be part of your tribe and thank you again for joining us from the East Coast. Um, it's been a wonderful evening uh, tonight. And before we wrap up, I wanna encourage everybody to click on gallery view to see how many people joined us here today. You can do that by going on the top right corner. And if not, I'm, I'm gonna share with you also. We have over 90 people here with us tonight. And that's because we all believe in you. We all believe in the future of all of our students. So again, congratulations class of 2020. Graduates, earlier this month, you received a graduation gift from Ocean Discovery that commemorates this milestone in your life. We ask you to wait until tonight to open your gift. I know you're all eagerly awaiting. I don't know how you guys did it. I would have opened it the second I got it in the mail. But please, if you can all take out your gifts and show the camera, uh, and show us all what you uh, have received. Awesome. So for, for those of you who can't see the, you know, the, the, the little video, I wanted to share with everybody what they received. This certificate, <laughs> make sure it's right side up, goes to you eighth graders. You can put it on your wall as a proud memory to remind you when you first became an ocean leader. And this graduation tassel goes to you, 12th graders. It's a symbol of having completed high school as an ocean leader. And this cord goes to all of you college and graduate student graduates. As a reminder that Ocean Discovery Institute has supported you along your college journey and is ready to support you on your upcoming career journey. Now you can come back to the speaker view now. Um, we've come to the end of the program, but before we depart, I'd like to share a few ways that you can get involved in the work that, that's happening in here in City Heights. The first is for you high school and college graduates. As a personal note, I recently became president of the City Heights Rotaract Club. The City Heights Rotaract Club is a service club dedicated to our community. Over the last several years, we've been able to give back more than a thousand hours community service, and we've provided professional development opportunities to people like you and I. My goal during my presidency is to recruit as many young leaders as yourselves to continue making a difference in your community. It's a, definitely a one of a kind club, and I will be reaching out to you in the future uh, on this opportunity. Now, I'd like to pass it off to Shara, who's gonna describe other ways you can get involved with Ocean Discovery Institute. So you already know the phrase, once an ocean leader, always an ocean leader. So staying involved is really just part of the program. First and foremost, this begins with your continuing to participate in programs and leveraging the incredible ocean discovery network that you and students before you have built. It also means volunteering. And if you're embarking on a career, it may include giving financially. As you know, our programs are provided exclusively at no cost. However, it costs about $5,000 a year to provide an Ocean Leader program. We rely on generous donors to make this possible. And Ocean Leaders are an important part of this group. In fact, Ocean Leader graduates make up 15% of our visionary community who are our monthly donors giving $10 or more each month. For our guests who are not ocean leaders, we are so thankful for your support. Our volunteer program is currently minimized, but when this is all over, we can guarantee we're going to need you back in full force. And of course, we need your ongoing financial support. We know that at this time, giving may be harder than ever. It's also more important as we continue to address critical needs, providing 450 meals a day, Distributing, edu distributing educational supplies and materials, 
and helping families to get online and get learning. Despite the challenges we are currently facing, Ocean Leaders, I think it's clear from tonight's presentation that you have built an extraordinary community. And today, your accomplishments make this community even stronger. So congratulations. Thank you so much, Shara. I'm actually part of the visionary community and I give to Ocean Discovery every month. So I encourage you, all of you graduates and everybody who's participating today to join. Uh, again, I wanted to thank you all for participating in our celebration. While we had a brief intermission between the videos there, I actually had a chance to, to go through all the people who are participating. And, and many of you may not be able to see this, but we have lots of families. I, for example, I see Gabby has her entire family in her living room uh, celebrating with, with uh, uh, balloons and everything. Um, I think that that was super special. Um, para las familias que nos, que nos están acompañando hoy, gracias por estar aquí. Um, es un, lograron mucho sus estudiantes y nomás les quería decir uh, otra vez en español que gracias por estar aquí y felicidades. Uh, we couldn't have done this celebration without you. Students, I know that this isn't your traditional graduation, but we wanted to make sure to acknowledge your achievement in some way. Know that all of us here at Ocean Discovery are here for you, and we're here for you beyond your academic needs. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Please stay safe, and help, help, I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.